So far, uh, we've seen a number of, of what are called additive systems of writing numbers. And one of the biggest issues uh, they all seem to have is the size of the numbers. Right? To, to write, for example, 500 uh, in Egyptian, you would have to write five hundreds. And that quickly gets uh, pretty bulky. Right? One way around that uh, is what's called a multiplicative system. With this system, as, as we'll see in a minute, uh, numbers come in groups of two. Right? The, the first number is, is the five, for example, think about 500. The second number tells you how many fives you need. Right? So let's take a look at an example, uh, and I think that'll get a little clearer. So I have here uh, the nine Chinese base numerals, one through nine, uh, and the characters for 10 and 100. Okay, so let's say, for example, we have a number like this one. And you, you notice I've, I've written it top to bottom, right, as Asian scripts um, usually are, usually do. So how, how are we going to interpret this? Well, take a look at the first two numbers. The first character is the symbol for four. The second character is the symbol for 100. All right, so there's our multiplier. All right, that's telling me I'm going to start with four times 100, which is 400. Now look at the next pair. This is a 3 followed by a 10. All right, well, again, 10 is the multiplier. So 3 times 10 gives me 30. And then the last one, uh, the number that goes in what we would call the units place, uh, that number is just by itself, so that number is just a 9. So to get the final result, all we do is we add these together. All right, so this, this number here would be uh, equivalent to the decimal 439. So this multiplicative approach, it's definitely a step up from the additive system we've seen previously, but it's still a little bulky. Uh, encoding a single number like 400 still takes two characters, right? Well, in the next two lectures, we'll take a look at what are called positional systems, including, for example, our modern decimal system, uh, that takes this a step further by using the position of a digit within a number to encode what its multiplier should be.